Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will learn how to add custom fields to a form view in Odoo. You can see a typical form view in of sale order looks like this in Odoo. This is a quotation form view. Now what we will do is we will try to add a custom field inside this form view so that we can learn how to customize a form view in Odoo. Customization help in improving efficiency of any software and it works the same in Odoo. So let us start by simply add, adding a text field like this inside Odoo form view of sale. So first of all, what we will do is we will add the custom field inside our model, which in this case is sale.order. I've used underscore inherit sale.order to inherit sale.order model of the Odoo. You can use any model that you want to inherit here by mentioning its name. This is my custom field payment description, which I will add inside the sale.order form view. So let us start. After adding the field, the next part which comes is customizing or creating a record ID for adding this field to the form view or we can say UI. It is very simple. What we need to do is create a new record ID and mention the ID, which is custom ID. You can mention any ID that you want here providing a name for this record, providing the model name, which we are working with in this case, which is sale.order. The next part is very crucial. That is the inherit ID of the form view that we need, where we need to add our field. The syntax is inherit ID. And in the reference, we mentioned the module name and the external ID of the form view. So how do we get to know the external ID of the form view? It is very simple. Just activate the developer mode. As you can see, developer mode is active in this case. After that, you will see a bug icon in the menu. Just click on it and a sub menu will open here. Open and click on edit view form. Here the external ID of the form view is mentioned. Sale dot view order form where sale is the module name and view order form is a record ID. We will just copy this and paste here and inherit this form view. After that, what we will do is we will use X path to add field to this form view. Here, the custom field is payment description, which is added through the X path of the field named note, which is present already inside a model. Make sure to give X path to those fields, which are present only by default inside your model. You can give any position after, before or inside. You can also replace this field by mentioning position replace in this X bar. So as we can see, we are ready to, we have ready our record ID. Now we will just restart the server and install our custom app to see the changes. The name of my custom app is this. I'll just click on install and as you can see the module installed let me see if the changes have occurred or not and as you can see the payment description field is added after the note field in the sale order form view so it was very easy to add a custom field to this form view now what if we want to add a custom field inside these order lines we cannot do by simply mentioning the product id or description field name because they are present inside a one to many field, which is the order lines. So how will we do so? We can do so easily by following this simple syntax. In the X path, we will give the X path of this page, which is present inside a notebook. So what we will do is write notebook slash page slash field name which is order lines and after that we will give the x path of the tree view of this order lines and the field name where we want to add our custom field which in this case we will use product id
so our xpath is ready we will just make sure that you have inherited sale.order.line and added a new field or custom field to this model i have added description head character field to this model now i'll just mention it here and we are good to go so what we'll do is we'll update our custom module and check if the changes have applied or not So I have upgraded the module. So we have upgraded the module and as you can see the header field is added here before the product ID field. So this is the care field or the custom field which we have added. So this is the syntax for adding an XPath to the order line or relational fields in Odoo or simply adding a form view custom field. So you can also add as many fields as you want but make sure that you have added those fields inside your model in Odoo. So as you can see it is very easy to add your custom field to a form. If you have any queries related to this video or Odoo feel free to contact us. If you like this video please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.